Hey everybody, this is Kasu, and welcome to Prehistoric Beasts, a mod in Ark where you they add a bunch of dinosaurs into the game, and all of them have quite a unique abilities to each of them. However, there is 38 creatures in this uh, mod, so I will be separating them into 4 batches, and each week I will be releasing uh, each batch one by one. And now, without further ado, let's begin. So, first up, uh, on the alphabetical order, is this guy, the Archeroraptor. Archeroraptor is a unique creature that is more of a support rather than a combatant. Uh, this creature supports the player by granting them immunity from the Extinction Wasteland buff. And if you are riding a creature, uh, they also do more damage uh, to corrupted dinosaurs. This weather is a bit much. So let's give that a try. So uh, currently I have this corrupted rex here along with the rex that I spawned. And I do just 133 damage. Now let's equip the uh, Uncle Raptor and see how much, damage, much more damage I do. With it on, as you can tell, I deal like 500 damage, which is around maybe 4 to 5 times the amount of damage I'm supposed to uh, I can do previously. Yeah, so that is the Archeo Raptor, a very strong uh, support creature that I highly recommend to tame if you're playing Extinction. I was going to mention to tame the Archeo Raptor, you just have to have Element and just, you know, feed it to him. And just feed it a few more times and you'll be tamed. Now, up next is the Anzus. The Anzu comes in four variants. The normal variant, the X variant, the Aberrant variant, and the R variant. To tame an Anzu, uh, as shown there, you have to actually snatch an egg from their nest, uh, similar to the Dano, uh, Dano Nikus. And once you hatch it, uh, it is yours, for, it's yours to keep. Now, what are his abilities? Well, let's take a look. So, the Anzu's left click ability is a, a bite attack, a good old standard bite attack. His uh, C key is a claw attack that deals a bit more damage. Its right click uh, is a roar, but it sounds more like a chirp. Uh, there's two different animations for the roar, which is both moving and if you stand still. And this creature actually has a pack saddle. But uh, the description, or rather the uh, Steam page, says that with the pack saddle equipped, if you press left control, it's supposed to activate it. Uh, and it's able to enable the tech ability. However, even with it on, I'm pressing left control and have elements equipped. I can't. I can't seem to activate the ability like so yeah I, i'm not very sure on how to do it so yeah uh regardless the case it's still a pretty fast land creature and it also like, jump pretty fast so it's good for exploration next up uh, on the alphabetical order list is the exorodictus the exorodictus comes in two forms the x variant and the normal variant uh, this creature is swimming away from me, but this creature actually is a more of a uh, not a combating tame, but more of a utility tame because this creature deals extra damage to koala cans, salmon, and other select fish. Probably the species that are small. Uh, for example, if I were to go and nibble on this ichthyosaur or rather this uh, megalodon, I would deal sixty nine damage. Uh, yeah, I'll deal 69 damage and because you know more, more of them are here, that's why I do less damage. But when it goes to this koala can for example, and I left click it, I deal 300 damage and as you can saw on the left corner just now, not left corner, the left side of the screen just now, I actually collected black pearl. So yeah, every time you kill these guys, there is a chance for them to drop black pearl if you, if you kill them with this creature or you harvest them with this creature. So yeah, it is a very very uh, in interesting creature for you to tame and utilize. 
also another thing is that uh, this creature over time will produce silicate which is this this particular thing here and silicate is a substitute for the silicon pearls so yeah that's the exorotic this one more thing to mention is that to tame the exorotic this uh it is you have to tame it with uh fish corpses similar to the author next up on the list is uh this cephalopod uh, this is the Baculites. The Baculites comes in two variants, uh, the normal variant and the X variant. Uh, to tame the Baculite, uh, you require another creature in this mod called the Lua La Bayas. Um, and only with that particular creature, you can passively feed the Baculites a prime fish meat. I'm not going to show that creature, I'll show it in the next uh, when it is his turn. However, I will show this Baculates uh, abilities. So, with his first ability, with his Megalodon as a uh, test object, is you just slap the guy with a tentacle. His movement is very similar to the giant squid in the vanilla arc. His right click ability is supposedly a grab that can grab smaller creatures, but uh, I'm not sure how small the creatures need to be because I can't seem to grab any. Uh, so yeah, I'm not very sure on this one because apparently I can't grab any fishes as seen here. Its C key is a spin, a shell spinning attack. This shell spinning attack actually deals damage to anything that is uh, in its vicinity, and it supposedly is able to harvest rocks and stone, and also the speed dodgers can uh, stun targets, as shown there. See, I'm gonna do it one more time to show it again. There we go. So yeah, it's a very good, uh, pretty good creature for hit and running. And uh, lastly is left control. Left control just basically toggles and aesthetic glow. As you can see, it's like, ooh, got some nice little glowy glowy effect. And you can just turn it off and on as when and you like. And yeah, that is the Baculites. Next up are uh, these guys, the Dirk. Uh, the Dirk comes in three variants, Normal, X, and R variant. Uh, to tame one of these creatures, uh, it's very simple. It's a passive tame, but you need to uh, craft a wooden flute and play a song to tame the Dirk, which I'm going to show you now. So, uh, to tame a Dirk, once you're near the Dirk, all you need to do uh, is spinning around my me like crazy. All you need to do is pull out the flute, and a prompt will happen and you just have to basically play it it's really simple and once you tame once you play finish it yeah you just tame the dirk and as you saw there was a timer so you have a short amount of time to tame the dirk but however if you do not have the uh, hand-eye coordination of a potato you can easily tame one of these creatures and trust me when i say this taming one of these creatures is insane so what can a Dirk do? Well, even though it does not need a saddle to be ridden, you can actually put on a saddle on it to give it an extra armor. So while on the ground, uh, the Dirk only like both on the ground and in the air, the Dirk only has one ability, and that is a standard bite attack. And uh, in order to fly, uh, you need to either be on a running hit start or you must be in the air. So if I'm like crawling on the ground here, I only can jump. However, if I'm running, I can fly. And yeah, as I said just now, uh, even when you're flying, you have a standard bite attack. That bleeds, I think? I don't know whether the bleeding is from the guy behind or... Let me try again. Yes, you have a bite attack that bleeds. However, the uniqueness of this creature is not that. The uniqueness of the creature comes when you dive bomb. I'm gonna choose a target to dive bomb and that Sin Tao Saw is seems like it will be the case. And as you can tell, the dive bomb deals 1.8k uh, damage. If I'm not wrong, the dive bomb does skill with attack. So I'm just gonna pump all it into attack and a dive bomb one more time. Yep, it does skill with attack. So if you just want to do a hit and run 
this creature is your go-to creature. So yeah, this creature actually is pretty pretty cool. It has a standard bleeding, uh, as a standard bite that does bleed damage. Uh, all you need to do to tame it is just play a little rhythm game with your little flute. And the dive bomb is insane. Up next is a creature which I honestly can't uh, understand. If I can get that out of this mess of creatures first. It is this guy. The small little guy called the Tilong. Uh, if that's, I'm pronouncing it correctly. This creature is fairly unique. To tame this creature, you have to first uh, knock it out and craft this particular item called Spirit of the Ark. Spirit of the Ark is crafted with just three random artifacts that you can find. And once you have it, all you need to do is give it to a knocked out uh, T-Long and you will have it tamed. So, to tame the T-Long, uh, just be wary, T-Long is actually a uh, aggressive creature. All you, to do, all you need to do is crank it. Put it to sleep. It's not that hard. You only have like 700 topper. And uh, give it the spirit of the up, and he will wake up ASAP. So it's a really fast and easy team to be honest. And uh, its abilities are a bit weird because uh, they its abilities are a bit weird because apparently they said they have. Uh, 13 different unique buffs, one random per T-Long. And for example, this one uh, has a healing buff, which uh, buffs you to heal faster. And I'm... Give a moment, I'm just going to pull out uh, a list of all the abilities that I have. So, you have, one of it is Better Aim, which is less recoil from shooting. Another one is Bigger Lungs, which has uh, basically slower oxygen drain rate. Next one is Cool Down, which cools your player down and is good for hot environments. Fourth one is Fast Crafting, which you can craft gears and blueprints faster. Hydrated, which your character's water will drain slower. Reduce Hunger, which your character won't grow as hungry as uh, quickly. Uh, regen, which is the one I have currently, is uh, your health regenerates a bit faster. Resistance, attacks do less damage to you. Sneaky, predators and uh, aggressive animals won't notice you as much. Um, speedy, which means you run and walk faster. Stem regen, you ge regenerate fast, uh, stamina faster. Strength, you do more damage. Warmth, you warm up and it's good for cold environments. And lastly is XP which is you gain XP faster. If I'm not wrong, all of these are random. Meaning you might get the same ability from a T-Long or you might get a different ability from a T-Long. And uh, for those people who wants to spawn them in, uh, do take note, you must spawn them in when uh, they are wild and tame them properly. Because if you spawn them in tamed, um, you can't activate their abilities at all. So yeah, that uh, is, uh, that's a T-Long, a small little creature, easy to tame, and uh, easy, and also quite, quite a good utility animal. So this is the Dolly Coring Corpse. It is a, as you can see, a passive tame, so all you need to do is go up to it and feed it if it wants to be fed, what the fuck? Yeah, so I uh, need to go up to it and feed it. However, it's uh, feeding. You have to go very close to its head now to feed it. And uh, the wiki says that it's very similar to the uh, Aquarius Taming, where uh, they won't hurt you, but you have to ride it. And so as you can see, I have a prompt to ride it, but it doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah, now it's stuck here, and I'm just gonna wait for it to be tamed. So uh yeah, so once you tame the uh this creature, uh you can put on a saddle on it. However, it does not need a saddle to function. So what are his abilities? So uh his ability wise, it is a relatively fast swimmer. Uh, left click is a bite attack, which does uh, bite attack does. 
right click while on the surface. Does this? A little backflip. Like uh, similar to the Basilo. And lastly is his C key, which is. Hold on. A. Cosmetic Raw, or rather just a cosmetic chirp, I guess. And yeah, it's a pretty simple tame, uh, and it's also pretty fast in the water. So, yeah, it's a. Basically, it's Aquarius, but underwater. And yeah, that is the Dolly This Dolly Corrin called out this complicated name. And lastly, is these guys the Dracovenator. Dracovenator uh, is a very powerful creature that has the ability of uh, wyverns. Henceforth, it is known as the Apex. Uh, killer, mainly apexes like uh, the wyverns and the magma swords. To tame one of these bad boys, you have to first uh, knock it out. Yeah, you have to first knock it out, and uh, while it's knocked out, feed it its favorite food. Its favorite food being a magma sword. So yeah, as you can tell, this favorite food uh, this is a very peculiar taste of it. And its uh, second best food is Ice Wyvern, followed by Poison, Fire, and Lightning, and lastly Crystal Wyvern. Food. Now that you know how it's how to tame it, uh, the Dracovenator comes in three different variants: the Normal variant, the Crystal variant, and the X variant. So, what makes these guys so strong? Well, let's figure it out. So, out of a million, I'll just summon a Corrupted Rex Fight. So, left click is a fight attack. A standard button. Right click is a mega fight attack. Which uh, does not have as much DPS but does slightly more damage. However, left click is still as much as here. C key is a claw swipe attack that hits twice as shown here. X key is a tail slap that hits both front and back. Next up is its control key, which is a cosmetic raw. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Kasu, this is just standard theropod, you know, attacks. It's just standard like, you know, uh, two-legged animals attack. What's so special about this guy then? Well, this is where uh, this particular key comes in. If you press and hold R key, you will enable its elemental powers. And this creature, much like the avatar, has... Okay, maybe less like the avatar, because avatar only knows four. This guy has five elemental uh, powers. One is life, lightning, water, ice, and fire. Each of it uh, are shown in the arms and also the eyes. As you can see, it is now fire. If I press again, it will go to life. I have no idea why life is just this glowy glowy thing. Next up is lightning, as you can tell from the purple shock uh, from his hand and eyes. Next up is water, and lastly is... How was it again? Ice. Yeah, ice, sorry. Uh, ice is a little less obvious. So with each of these uh, different not abilities, different elements. He, the Dracovenator is resistant against said element uh, when the element is active. Meaning, for example, if you are against a Fire Wyvern, the Dracovenator uh, will be resistant to fire attacks when it is in its fire form. In its life form, it's, weak, uh, it's resistant against, if I'm not wrong, poison attacks. In its lightning form, against lightning attack. In its water form against water uh, water attacks from the crystal wyvern and in its ice form it's ice breath oh sorry i remember the life form is resistant against uh, blood drain damage so out of all of the different elements inside the game only poison is actively uh, useful against uh, this creature not to mention that the AI of this creature is actually really well made. So for example, if you're using a fire wyvern, it won't use a fire breath attack on you. It will actually switch to the opposite. Maybe it will, it basically it will switch to either water or ice. Basically the polar opposite for you to attack. Uh, for to attack you with. Now let's go over each of the abilities, starting with the school standard fire. So uh with 
all of the different uh, different elements. It's a um, claw attack, if I'm not wrong. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, with uh, the element, like if you switch to, if you turn on the element, it will deal, or rather, uh, the claw attack will deal the elemental damage associated with whichever element you choose. And right click will basically spit a fireball. And if I switch to the next one, which is life, if I'm not wrong, it will spit this ball, which I'm unsure on what it does, but let's just, uh, try it out on this guy, alright? On the Nascoceratops. As you can tell, it's uh, not exactly the most accurate attack. What the hell, it's so inaccurate. And once you hit, it, it has this cool effect. Gas and Life Curse. Uh, from my understanding, Life Curse is probably you will keep draining uh, HP from the guy. Next up, it's, it's uh, Lightning Form, where if you right click, it will just spew out lightning similar to the lightning wyvern. Also much more accurate than a lightning wyvern because, you know, look at that. Next up is Essence of Water. If you spew it at a enemy, it will deal uh, scalded damage. Again, it's not scalded, it's scalded. If you see my previous uh, mod showcase video, you will you will know, you'll know that for some reason, the scalded in this game is pronounced as uh, scolded, which is kind of funny. But uh, unlike the other abilities, where uh, if I were to switch to you know like lightning and I screw at my uh, teammate, it will do damage to him, similar to the lightning wyvern. So again, be careful for friendly fire. However, if you use the essence of water and you uh, screw it at your ally. Instead of damaging it, you'll give it the Ocean's Blessing, which is a healing uh, buff to your enemy. So this creature can also be a healer. Not enemy, sorry, to your friends. And lastly is Essence of Ice. Essence of Ice, uh, similar to the Ice Wyvern, basically just spew out a full uh, breath to attack enemies. And I'm not sure whether it's a bug or not, but this creature, if you kill a Wyvern, any Wyvern with it, uh, for example, I'm gonna spawn one right now. So you have to spawn, uh, in this case, I'm gonna spawn a Magma Sword because Wyverns can fly and that annoys me. So I'm gonna spawn a Magma Sword and kill this Magma Sword. You will gain this particular item. Essence, okay, throwing all the Essence away. Essence of Fire, where on earth is it? Okay, that's a bit weird, uh, but yeah, you'll gain these essences. These essences are what you need to actually activate uh, the, the Dracovenator's abilities. However, for some reason, I don't know what reason, I'm able to use them uh, regardless. Uh, that is a very far range. A example, um, I only have Essence of Water and Essence of Ice here. However, I still can use Essence of Fire. Uh, you know, abilities and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if it's a bug or it's something else. Uh, just when you play this mod, don't worry about not being able to collect essences. You can just collect. Uh, you can just use the creature as and when you like and whatever abilities he has. And yeah, that actually comes to the end of this mod showcase. Uh, for the next part of the mod showcase, I'll be going through uh the next the other creatures of this mod. And with that being the case, I shall end this mod showcase here. This has been Kasu, and I hope to see you guys in the next video or next stream. Bye! Some say bye. Good boy.